Hey players, when it comes to talking to your crush, there are a few key things that you'll want to avoid saying. It doesn't matter if you're in middle school or high school, a boy or a girl, each of these key things will do nothing but hurt your chances. So what are those three things that you should never tell your crush? You'll find out right after this. The thing about crushes is that sometimes we get so wrapped up in how we feel that we begin to neglect how the other person feels about us. It's usually one of three scenarios that play out, and the first one being that you see them, you get nervous, and you say something stupid. In this situation, it may be using phrases like, what's up? What are you up to? And how's everything? Now, realistically, there's nothing wrong with saying these things, but you have to recognize the fact that they're just filler openers. If your crush responds with something like NM, comma, HBU, the conversation is dead. And what most people don't realize and continue to do is follow up again and again, saying the same things over and over. It gets to a point where you're trying so hard to get their attention that all you're doing is diminishing your own value. No one likes being around a super needy person that doesn't let you do things for yourself. That can make you feel uncomfortable. Save your what's up, how's it going type of phrases for when you've actually built up a friendship with your crush to the point where you know that saying it won't be awkward. The second situation is sometimes far worse. This is when you don't say anything at all. Yes, in the absence of not telling them something, what you're actually telling them is that you're not into them. Hold on, I just, I, I, what, what? Most of the time, people would rather wait and wait and wait for signals from their crush before they make a move. By avoiding them, ignoring them, and just never talking to them, you're subcommunicating that you have completely no interest. Now hold on, hold on, hold on. That is a lot different from talking to them and flirting, and then pulling back a little bit to get them to go, well, why are they ignoring me? I need to find out. And finally, the worst thing that you can tell your crush, and I mean the worst, is that you're cool with just being friends. Don't ever do this. All you're doing is setting yourself up for extreme failure. If you like someone, don't lie to them and say you're okay with just being friends just so you could spend more time around them. Because eventually, you're gonna end up telling them how you feel, it's gonna throw them off guard, they're gonna feel like you've been lying to them, and it's gonna destroy and unravel everything that you've done. If you wanna know exactly why you shouldn't tell your crush that you like them, check out my video right here, where I lay it out as plain and simple as possible. Willingly friend zoning yourself isn't going to get you closer to your crush. All you're doing is building up their fake trust in you. The kind of trust where they feel like they can turn to you during hard moments, sad times, and potential boyfriends and girlfriends that they may want to have. And that's not what you want to hear. That's why it's so important to be straightforward. What do you guys think though? What's one thing that you regret ever telling your crush? Leave your comments below so we can talk about it. Don't be too needy, don't be too distant, and don't be dishonest. Because the best thing that you can tell your crush is that there's something about them that catches your eye and you want to find out what that is. Ah, the power of being mysterious. As always guys, love and peace. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I make new videos every Tuesday on a range of different topics, including self-help, dating, philosophy, and more. Plus, if you want exclusive stories and tips that I don't share in my videos, make sure to sign up for the Josh Speaks newsletter. The link will be in the description below. And finally, I want to shout out DJ McOwen for watching every single episode of Married at First Sight and Cole Campbell for being such an awesome subscriber.